Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. The folks at Blizzard have returned back to work from holidays and so now it's time to start expecting the next balance patch. They said the next balance patch would be done with more data and would probably be more influential, but what should be in the next balance patch? Well, first of all, what I would like to see in Hearthstone would be a game where there would be low levels of randomness and then people would know what to play with, what to play around and then skill in avoiding opponents' powerful moves and being able to go two for one and just overwhelm them would be important. But that's not a Hearthstone game that's ever going to take place again. That Hearthstone is many years, in many years remote from today and not coming back. So what could Blizzard do just to balance the current meta with the way they think Hearthstone is fun, which includes stuff like concoctions? Well, problem number one is Miracle Rogue. Miracle Rogue is dominant right now in Top Legend. It's starting to propagate wider on the ladder. And Miracle Rogue has a couple of nerf candidates. Because the number one nerf candidate card obviously is Astral Blood Zone, which is not only a Miracle Rogue card, it's played in like every deck. And Astor, I talked about Astor in more detail in a video earlier, but Astor, I think the way to nerf Astor would be to increase the mana cost a little bit, so that it would be more difficult to play in aggressive strategies, and then also separate the mana thirst and the battle cry from the final form, so that you can't just brand 32 damage out of it. So, 3 mana, first form, 9 mana, last form, separate the battle cry and the mana thirst. I think that would make Astor much better. Then the other card, Potion Belt, is what Miracle Rogue is all about. Potion Belt is by far the strongest card in the deck because you get so much random stuff out of it. And I actually think the way to nerf this would not be to nerf Potion Belt itself, but to make those random things a little bit weaker. For example, getting those spells with the discount, just reduce that discount. So that it doesn't result in such huge swings that come completely out of the blue, but rather that those completely random things would happen closer to their real mana cost. And I think these changes would be sufficient to just nerf Miracle Rogue a little bit so that it won't be an issue. The other super popular deck in High Legend is the Quest Demon Hunter, but should Quest Demon Hunter be nerfed? This is actually not a top legend build, the top legend builds use Abusive Surgeant, but those are for very narrow meta, so this is more like the builds that you would actually encounter on the ladder. And Quest Demon Hunter is not necessarily a problem once Rogue is nerfed a little, because there are many decks that can handle Quest Demon Hunter, but they can't handle Rogue. So when Rogue becomes weaker, then Quest Demon Hunter, the meta automatically becomes less favorable for Quest Demon Hunter and gives other decks a bit more of a chance, so maybe Quest Demon Hunter nerfs are not even necessary. However, there are a couple of other really powerful decks. I can think of three decks that probably need something done about them. One of them is the Shock Spider Hunter. And Shock Spider Hunter, I mean, pew pew pew, Shock Spider was already nerfed and it's still so good. And Shock Spider Hunter has no major weaknesses, and its main weakness is Rogue. And if Rogue is getting nerfed, well, Shock Spider Hunter is going to be even domin more dominant. So that means that Shock Spider Hunter should really be weakened somehow. It's just a little bit harder to see, like, how? How can you really touch this deck? I mean, obviously you can nerf Shock Spider again, and then you probably kill the deck this time, maybe. Is Astalo nerf enough? I don't think it is, but this is a little bit harder. I haven't really figured out a proper way to weaken this, but something should be done about this if Rogue is nerfed, because that would just leave Shock Spider Hunter way too good. And the other two decks that I consider to be dangerous for the upcoming meta are Evolve Shaman and Aggro Mage. Evolve Shaman performance has just been getting better and better. This Neptulon Tidehunter Shadowhunter Volgin list, this seems to be the superior version superior way to build this deck and this deck also this is all about nonsense and absolutely ridiculous stuff that i hate about hearthstone this deck does everything that i hate about hearthstone but obviously blizzard loves this archetype because they're supporting this year in year out so they don't want to destroy it but how do you nerf it i'm not sure something probably would need to be done about this one and also aggro mage which is really really strong otherwise we might end up with something like shock speed hunt evil shaman aggro mage meta next 
But if these are brought back in line a little bit, then that means that they will still be competitive, but they will be more in line with decks like Beast Hunter, decks like Imp Warlock. I mean, okay, those are last expansion decks, but when you build decks that are built from a single expansion, that's what you get. Those decks are there or they're not. I somehow consider decks like Beast Hunter and decks like Imp Warlock to be kind of the baseline. They're somewhat fair decks in many ways, and those kinds of decks should be okay-ish in the meta. If they're completely unplayable, then nothing fair is playable. If they're dominant, then, well, then there's not many interesting strategies in the game, so some kind of balance has to be struck. And I think there are currently four outliers that prevent that balance from being struck, and those are Miracle Rogue, Shock Speed Hunter, Evolve Shaman, and Aggro Mage. So once we tune those down, and we have this Beast Hunter Imp Warlock level here, and then there's a bunch of other decks that we could bring up so that we could bring them to that level. But what could we buff to relevance? Something that I proposed already several weeks ago, before the latest balance patches, was that undead. Undead decks are just missing good one-drops. Stuff like Banshee, Arm Stealer. If we could buff some undead one-drops, then that could give rise to undead druids, swarm shamans, undead aggro priests, unholy death knights. There would be a whole bunch of decks that could benefit from having some viable undead one-drops. So that's one thing. And another thing is like Warrior Warrior is struggling, Enrich Warrior is doing kind of okay, Control Warrior much weaker. Light of the Phoenix would be one new card that we could buff, just take it down to 3 mana, and then we would have a little bit more card draw, better for Enrage, better for Control, overall just improves Warrior by improving a new card. Because that's kind of what you want, you want to promote the cards that are new instead of promoting cards that are old. And I think something along these lines would help a bunch of new decks rise up in the meta to a proper level. We could get a couple of top decks down a little bit, and then we have already a few decks here in the middle that would then be in a better position when a couple of the best decks are nerfed. And that's how I would do a balance patch if I was Blizzard. If I were to do a balance patch that would make Hearthstone fun again, then I would have to like redesign half the game because we would have we have so much random junk that we would need to get rid of. But that's a matter for another day. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members, and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.